Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, we all looking, we both looking forward to the session. We all looking forward to the session. I certainly am. Can't wait. So we'll make a start because um, we have a lot of fun, don't we, Anne, to get started. So let's see if we can remember all through the session, we're going to do some really good listening. So we're going to sit up nicely, look at the screen, listen nicely. And let's see if we can remember the first question. So how are you, Edmund? Oh, it will come on the screen in a minute. It's being a bit slow today. How are you, Edmund? Nice, loud voice. You say, I am. Oh, you're happy. That's good. I'm glad you're happy. How are you, Annabelle? So I am. I am. Let's have a try and then I'll tell you. Louder, louder. I am good. Oh, you're good. Brilliant. Let's see if maybe by the end you'll be super, hopefully, after the session. Well, I am a little bit tired, um, but I'm very happy as well. So I'm very happy to be working with you as well again some such brilliant workers let's have a look and see we're going to remember some of the things from before and then we'll be doing something new today as well so let's see if we can remember our numbers our name the names that we learn the english names and colors so we're going to go back through those and see how you get on with those so firstly we're going to look at the numbers to 20 and play a little game today so this is called apple picking. Here are the apples in his bag. And we're going to see, because there might be some missing. So we're going to see if you can find the missing numbers. So what do you think? Well done. Seven. Seven. Yay. Well done. And what's going to be the next one? It's going to be your turn now, Edmund. Oh, what is the one. missing number? One. 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 Well done. You picked the correct apple. Back to you, Annabelle. Let Annabelle try. Click on the apple and move the apple up. Oh. Two. That's it. There we Fantastic. go. Fantastic. We found all the right apples. It's very good. So. Let's now see with numbers as well, if you can guess which numbers are hiding behind the stars. Can you see there's some numbers that are hiding? You can't see the whole number, um, oh. but I wonder if you can guess what it is. So let me plug my headset back in so I can hear you nicely. And let's have a look at this one. So, who who thinks they might know what that number that is? Four. You think it's four? What do you think, Edmund? Four. You think four as well? Okay. Well, should we have a look? Let's see if you were right. Ready? Da, 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 da. Oh, it was. And four. So one and four together make 14, don't they? That's the number 14. Oh, so we were nearly there. We got the four, but that was, there was a one there as well. So let's see this one. Oh, wait for me to finish, Edmund. You think it's 20. What do you think, Annabelle? Okay, Edmund. And Annabelle? 17. 20 as well. We're quite sure it's 20. Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. It's 20. Give yourselves a clap. Very good. Well spotted. Oh, now this next one is quite tricky, isn't it? We can't see very much of that. You think eight. Oh, you're obviously very good at spotting numbers. Let's see if you're right, though. Da, 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 da. 
It was eight. Give yourselves a little clap. And the last one, what do we think it is? Nineteen. You think nineteen? What do, what do you think, Annabelle? Is that eighteen or nineteen? Can you repeat it, Annabelle, please? Okay, well, let's see if you're right. Ready? Da, 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 da. It was 19. So three out of four, not too bad. We'll see how you do next time. Very well spotted with those numbers. So let's have a little look then and see if you can remember now. We're going to, so we've done our numbers, have quick um, memory of our numbers. And let's see now if you can remember the names that we learned last week. There were 20, I think, and we'll have a little sneaky peek at two of them. So a little sneaky peek. We had, what's this name? Alex. Alex and Jill. So they are two names that we learnt. I'm going to start the timer and you're going to write down, see how many more you can remember from last time. You got it? So can you think of a name, Edmund, another name? Or try and think of any English names you can remember. Okay, how about you, Annabelle? Can you, can you remember one? Which, what do you think it is? Yes. Yes. How do you spell that, Edmund? Yes. Can you spell it? G R L S E. G I L S E. R. G R. Oh, write, write it down. Write it down. And I'll have a look. Okay. So write it down, and. I'm going to start the timer, see how many you can remember and write them down, see if you can write them correctly. So there were 17 actually, not 20, 17. And we remember them all. So we know Alex, we know Jill. <coughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Let's see if you remembered them. So let's hold them up to the screen. Let's see how many you've got. So, oh, yes, well done. Grace, Alex, Jill, oh, Denny as well. I'm not sure we did that one, but that is a nice name, isn't it? A bit closer, Annabelle. Oh, well done. Okay, Anna and Alex. Is that Alex there? Yeah. Great. So, that was a good start. Now let's remember some of the others and check that we can say them. And just double check your spelling as well. There's a spelling there, Edmund. I wonder if you can spot it. So... Let's go back to the screen. So we have Alex, Jill, then we have, oh, what's this one? So we've got, Alice. how do we, Alice, that's right, write it down. How do we spell Alice, Edmund? Can you spell it for me, Edmund? How do we spell it? What are these letters? Uh, You're right. Well done. Now, Annabelle, how do we say this name? K-I-M. K-I-M. That's right. And what name is it? Kim. Kim. Well done. Is Kim for a girl or for a boy? Oh, it's for a girl, usually for a girl. And 
Um, Edmund, Alice, is that for a girl or for a boy? A girl. A girl, you're right. Okay. Let's go to the next one then. So can you read this one for us, Edmund? How do we say it? Anna. You're right. And can you spell it? A-N-N-O. Well done. And is Anna a girl? Girls are a, a girl or a boy's name? And again? Is it for a girl or a boy, Edmund? Anna? Anna is a girl. Girl, well done. And Annabelle, can you say this name? Nancy. And so Lucy, and can you spell it? L U C Y. You're right. Is is the is the name Lucy for a girl or for a boy? Boy. It's just for a girl usually. Good try. Okay, let's see the next one. So we've got Edmund, can you say the next one on the left? Ben. And spell it for us. B -E -N. You're right. And is Ben for a girl or for a boy? Boy. You're right. Well done. Annabelle, you're next again. Mark. And how do you spell Mark? M-A-R-K. You're right. And is Mark for a girl or for a boy? Boy. Yeah, well done, for a boy. And let's keep going. So we've got... Well done, spell it, um, Edmund. B-I-L-L. You're right. And is it for a girl or for a boy? Boy. You're right. And Annabelle, the next one. So maybe you start by spelling it. Can you say the letters? M A Y. That's right. So it starts with a M. So it's May. Say it. Do you think it's for a girl or for a boy? Boy. It's for a girl. Good try. Okay, and uh, let's keep going. Let's see, we've got a few more. So now we have Edmund. Uh, Dan. D -A -N. Well done, boy. and it's Dan. Boy. Yay, you're right for a boy, isn't it? Dan, well done. Next one, Annabelle. Nick. Oh, and I see K. And is Nick a girl or a boy's name? Boy. Yeah, usually for a boy. Okay. And the last ones then. We have Edmund. Oh, you've done you've done Pat. Okay, we're gonna swap swap sides then. And is Pat for a girl or for a boy, Edmund? Girl and boy. Girl and a boy, it's for both, isn't it? So can you try this one? Um Annabelle's quite tricky that one. G R A C E. G R A C E. That name is Grace. Can we say it? Grace. Now check your spelling, Edmund. Check that C is in there, okay? So is Grace, Annabelle, for a girl or for a boy? Why? For a girl. Grace is for a girl. Good try. Well, well done. Give yourselves a pat on the back because you've remembered all 17 names now, haven't you? And you've remembered how we spell them. Keep them in your head because they are the main names that we will see in our book when we read, uh, when we need, read our student book. So they are good ones to remember, but we may see some other ones as well. So now that we've um, 
remembered those names and our letters, we're going to listen to an audio and you're going to fill out these names, okay? Do you have your student books yet? Oh, you do. Do you have yours, Edmund? Can you see what Annabelle is holding? Oh, we have them. Great. Okay. So can you open up to, let me remember where that is, 3C. Okay, and you can see something like this, yes? So the page is what's your name? And we should have something that looks like this. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, good. Can you see it, Edmund? Yes. Great. That's where you're going to write your answers. And we're going to listen to the audio now. So let's have a listen. Mr. Ride. How do you spell that? R-I-D-E. Oh yes, I know him. Four. What's your grandmother's name? Her name's May. Can you spell May? Yes, it's M-A-Y. Five. Is that your dog, Tom? Yes. What's her name? Her name's Happy. Happy? How do you spell that? H-A-P-P-Y. That's a good name for a dog. Six. Do you learn English at school, Ben? Yes, it's my favourite lesson. Who's your English teacher? Her name's Mrs Doc. How do you spell her family name? Doc? You spell it D-U-C-K. <laughs> Okay, do you think you've got all six? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do you have all six? Or would you like to listen again? Hold up your, hold up your books, let me have a look so that I can see. I hope you've used nice neat writing. Um, teacher Haley, just I think the when number two and three, not sure the audio suddenly very soft, can't hear. Then number three, uh, number four, then only eight louder, so can hear clearly. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes, sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I can make it louder, but I can certainly play it again. I'm not sure it's the um, that, <laughs> that causing the audio sometimes loud, sometimes it's very soft. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Let's try again. Let me try again. What's your name? Listen and write the names. One. Hello, Lucy. Is that your brother? Yes. What's his name? Tom. Tom. Is that T-O-M? Yes. Two. Have you got a good friend at school? Yes. What's her name? Alex. Alex. Do you spell that A-L-E-X? Yes. She's very nice. Three. What's your teacher's name? Mr. Ride. It's Mr. Ride. How do you spell that? R-I-D-E. Oh yes, I know him. 
four. Can you hear it okay now? Did you get those ones? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, great. We'll just keep it going just to check the rest. What's your grandmother's name? Uh, Her name is May. Can you spell May? Yes, it's M A Y. Okay. Five. Is that your dog, Tom? Yes. What's her name? Her name's Happy. Happy? How do you spell that? H A P P Y. That's a good name for a dog. Six. Do you learn English at school, Ben? Yes. It's my favourite lesson. Who's your English teacher? Her name's Mrs. Doc. How do you spell her family name? Doc? You spell it D U C K. <laughs> Okay, let's see your answers then. We'll have to we'll go through them. So, firstly, hold up your book. Let me have a look, please. Hold it up. Hold it up. Sorry. Oh, well done. See some nice, neat handwriting there. Okay. And Edmund, can I see yours, please? Did you write? I'm going to say them again when we go through them. Listen nice and carefully, okay? And see if you can write them just before we do the answers, okay? So the first one said, it said, hello, Lucy, is that your brother? She said, yes, what's his name? Tom. And we already have Tom there, don't we? So number two said, have you got a good friend at school? And the girl said, yes. What's her name? Alex. Alex, do you spell that A-L-E-X? Yes, she's very nice. So if you wrote A-L-E-X, Alex, you can give that next to it a little tick. That means you got it right. Do you do ticks at school? This is called a tick. You get ticks at school. Yeah, good. Okay. I know sometimes people use different, different codes. So the next one said... What's your teacher's name? This is number three. Mr. Ride. It's Mr. Ride. How do you spell that? R-I-D-E. She said, oh, yes, I know him. R-I-D-E. So write it down nice and quickly, Edmund. And we should have had it looking like this. To be nice and honest, if you got it right, Give yourself a nice, neat little tick. If it wasn't quite right, put a dot and then write the right answer. So, Annabelle and Redmond, give me a thumbs up if you got that one. Thumbs up or down? Thumbs up. Okay, give it a tick then, um, Annabelle. Well done. You got a thumbs up. Okay, yay. And the next one said, what's your grandmother's name? And the boy said, her name is May. Can you spell May? Yes, it's M-A-Y. May. So... If you wrote M-A-Y, May, 
you can give yourself a little tick. So show me thumbs up or thumbs down. Did you get it right? Yay, well done, Annabelle. How about you, Edmund? Did you get it? So Edmund, Edmund, give me a thumbs up if that's a yes. Oh, showing me as well. Oh, okay, make sure you're ticking them. Okay, and then um, number five said, is that your dog, Tom? Yes, what's her name? Her name's Happy. That's a nice name, isn't it? Happy, how do you spell that? How do you spell it, Annabelle? Can you remember? Have you got it there? Yes, I remember. Go on then. Yay, well done. That's how you spell it. So give yourself a tick. I'll have a look in a minute, Edmund. Okay, give yourself a tick. Oh, let's see that. I can't see very well when it's um, a bit nearer. Yep, lovely. Okay, and the last one. Do you learn English at school, Ben? Yes, it's my favourite lesson. And who's your English teacher? Her name's Mrs. Duck. How do you spell her family name? Duck. You spell it. How do you spell it? Um... Edmund Duck, Mrs. Duck. D U C K. D U C K. Well done. Did you get that right as well, um, Annabelle? You're hiding. <laughs> Did you get it right? D U C K. I want to be able to see you, Annabelle. Put the book down, please. You did. Give me a thumbs up then. That's a clear way of showing me. Okay. Great, because my, my pictures of you now are very small when I've got the screen on. So, let's have one last look at your books, please. Can you show me? Nice and close to the camera. Okay, hold it there. Let me see, Annabelle. Yeah, okay. And let me see, Edmund, a bit closer. Okay, well done. So that's a really good start to using your new books, isn't it? Well done. Hopefully we can use them a bit more now as well. So let's see what's next. We've got, oh, can you see? So now, because um, we're only going back to some of these because we've already done some of this before you had your books. We're going to look at G, find exercise G. Now, there are some names hiding. So this first sentence said, listen to my story. And hiding in the sentence, there's the name. What name is hiding in there? Can you see what they've circled? So T O M. Spells Tom. So hiding in the sentence are some names. So Annabelle, can you read number two? So the cat. The cat is sleeping. On a mat. On the mat, and then this word? Today. Today, that's this day we're in now. So let's see, can you see a, a, a name hiding? I'm not sure I can see it. Or oh, maybe I've spotted it. What is it? So. We're looking for a name. Oh, can you see one? So I will start with it very carefully and look at each letter, see if we can put anything together. You can join words. 
sleeping on the mat. Oh, that sounds a bit like one of the words, the one of the names we know, doesn't it? Can you see a name starting with M? No. What did you say, Edmund? M-A-T. M-A-T. And then we can join it to the next word because it needs two T's and the name is? Matt, well done. Circle it on your book. Okay, Edmund, can you read number three? We're going to look for the name. She wants an orange and an apple. Oh, which name is hiding? I wonder who can see it first. Which one? D-N-A-P. D-N-A-P. A-N-A-P. A-N-A-P. Anap. That's not a name. Good try, though. If it had two N's, that would have been Anna, wouldn't it? But we don't have two N's. It's not that one. I'll give you a clue. It starts with a D. So find the D. Can you find a name starting with D? Mm -hmm. Oh, who's going to find it? Circle it in your book if you find it. So here's D. And it's a boy's name. Can you see it? What do you think it is, Annabelle? Oh. I spell it. D-A-N, Dan. There we go. Okay, now read number four, please. Um, who was whose turn was it? Was it Ed, Edmund? Oh, sorry, Annabelle. Back to you. Oh, we've got Edmund now. Yeah, then we'll do you next, Annabelle. Sorry, Grandma, you're great. So, what name can we see in there? Grandma, you're great. So let's go back. I'll show you the names, see if you can use that to help you. So here were all of the names. Which name can you spot in Grandma? You're great. Which name can spot oh, I don't think oh, this one is on there yet. Which name you can spot here? See if you can circle it. So we're looking. I won't give you a clue yet. Give me a thumbs up when you think you have it. Don't say it. But give me a thumbs up if you think you when you think you've got it. Do you need a clue? Shall I give you a clue? I think you need a clue, not. Not sure. <laughs> Can you find it, Annabelle? Do you think you know? I'll give you a clue, okay? So it starts with an M 
and it is a girl's name. So let's see who gets a thumbs up. Who's going to show me they've got it? Starts with an M and it is a girl's name. Oh, my God. Oh, Edmund, remember to put your thumbs up. So to give Annabelle, if you don't say it, then Annabelle gets a chance to try and find it as well, okay? So remember, we're not going to say it. We're just going to put our thumb up. Yes. So did you hear that, Annabelle? Which, which name was it? Which name? M-A. M-A, and then there's another letter. What's the letter behind? Follow? M-A-Y, well done. And what name is that? Which name is it? Can you say the name? What's the name? How to say the name? No, it's okay. How do we say it? M A Y. M A Y. Yep, is May. May. Say it. May. Try and say it. May. Oh, I can see your mouth moving, but I can't hear it. Mm. Come on, nice and loud, nice and confident, nice and clear. Uh, May. May. Why? May. May. Oh, you got there. Well done. Okay. Um, can you read the next sentence, Annabelle, number five? So B. Sentence. Have a good try, B. Be nice to your teacher. Be nice to your teacher. You always are, aren't you, both of you? Very nice. Be nice to my teacher. Pardon? Be nice to my teacher. You're always nice to the teacher. I can see you're very lovely, aren't you, to the teacher? So can you see a name in that sentence. Have a look. Give me a thumbs up if you think you find it. Otherwise, I'll give you a clue. Keep looking, Edmund. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to have a look, see if you can find it. Yeah. Good, remember, don't say it. Don't say it. Just give me a thumbs up if you think you know. Okay. So, do, what, what do you think? Do you think you found it? Oh, it looks like Annabelle might have found it. Do you, think, do you think you've got it, Annabelle? Oh, you think you've got it. So do you think you could give Edmund a clue then? So say the first letter and if it's for a boy or a girl. So the first letter is spell. The first letter. Hey, one word. Oh, just the first one. Just B. Okay, well done. And is it? Do you think it's for a girl or for a boy? Girl. Oh, that one's for a boy. Actually, this name's for a boy. Okay, so Edmund, it starts with B and it's for a boy. Have a little look. Can you spot it? Have you got it now, Edmund? So say, so both of you say the name. What do you think the name is? Say the name. So, so you're you're spelling the name. Can you now say the name? Yeah. Ben Annabelle. Yeah, did you say Ben? Yeah. So we should have B E N. Ben. Give yourself a pat on the back, Annabelle, for spotting it without a clue that time. That was great. Well done. And so last one, Edmund, read the sentence number six. 
saw a saw at the end of the street. Okay, stop at the end of the street. So search, have a little look. Can you see it? Or do, Edmund, we keep things secret till so everyone can have a chance, remember. Okay? So circle it if you can find it. Okay, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Edmund, remember not saying it out loud yet. 3, 2, 1. And what do you think, um, Annabelle? Do you need a clue? Yes. Oh, you've got it. Ah, oh, so are you? Have you both got a thumbs up then? Show me thumbs up, thumbs down. Edmund, what? What about you? Show me with your thumb. Thumbs up for yes. Oh, okay. What is it? Shout it out. Say the name. Hey. Pat. Pat. How do you spell it, Annabelle? P A T. And is Pat for a girl or for a boy? A girl, a boy, or both? Could be both, couldn't it? What do you think? Both, you're right. It is for both. Both a girl and a boy. Very good. So can I please see your books? Can I see your books? Hold the books up so I can see that you've done it all. Hold up your book, Edmund. Nice and close to the camera. Very good. And you can give yourself some ticks to show you are right. And you, Edmund, a bit closer, Edmund, closer. Tick. Oh, okay, Edmund, you know when we did it? Oh, you've got it there. Great, I can see it. Yes. Give it a tick. It was a bit faint. I had to get my, my glasses properly on to see that. <laughs> oh, you've done very well. Very good. Okay, so let's um, say a little rhyme, okay? So it goes like this. Say a friend's name, say a friend's name after me, after me. Saying names is so much fun, especially saying, especially saying this one. Then we're going to say a name. So we, we're, we're going to choose one. Choose a name, Edmund. Spell it for me, nice and loud. Oh, hold on, Edmund. Oh, say the name, and then we're going to do it together, okay? Good boy, though, for starting it. Which name are you choosing? What's your favourite name? Not sure. Have a think. Annabelle, do you have a favourite name from the ones we've learnt? Which one is it? Which name is your favourite? Just say which one are you? So choose a name. Kim. Kim. How do you spell Kim? It is a nice name, isn't it? How do you spell it, Annabelle? Yeah. I am. Hey, I am. Okay. So let's say the rhyme together. Ready? So it goes. Say a friend's name, say a friend's name after me, after me. Saying names is so much fun, especially saying this one. 
Kim, 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 Kim. Okay, we're going to say it again. If you you can you can sing to me. I'd love to hear you. But if you want, you can. If you're a bit shy, you could put mute on and you can sing with um to, with the with the mute on if you want. Okay. But I'd love to hear you though. So should we try it again? Okay, nice and loud. Have you? Is your Teddy going to sing, Annabelle? Oh, Teddy's going to sing. Okay, ready? Say a friend's name. Say a friend's name after me. After me. Say you. Saying names is so much fun, especially saying this one. What's the name? Kim. 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 Okay. Let's have a go at singing. I'm doing a solo here. <laughs> um, so let's choose another one. Edmund, you choose. And don't leave me doing a solo this time. Yeah. I need some. Uh, I need someone to join me. Choose a name, Edmund. Say any of the names we've learned. Can you remember one name? Any of them? Can you can you spell it for me? H -A -H -A -T -T oh, who was called Happy? Who was called Happy? The dog. The dog. So that's the dog's name. We'll sing the dog's name, okay? Are you going to sing with me this, this time? Yeah, go on. Are you going to sing with me this time, Annabelle? Yeah? Oh, good. Don't leave me on my own then. Ready? Say a friend's name. Yay, after me. After me. Well done. Saying names is so much fun. Saying names is so much fun. Especially saying this one. Especially. Especially saying this one. That means like I really like this one. Especially saying this one. Happy. And then it's happy, 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 happy. <laughs> so maybe you'll get into that song, give it a little practice and we can come back to it, can't we? Did you like the song? No, I didn't. You <laughs> sang really, you sang very nicely, Anna. Yeah. Did you like the song? You did. Okay, what about you, Edmund? Do you like the song? Do you like listening to it? Ah, oh, good. Should we do it one more time then? So let's let's choose another name. Let's keep the other one as well, and then we can say all the names together. Which name did you choose? That's Kim, wasn't it? Okay, let's choose one more name, Annabelle. Nick. 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 Can you spell Nick? N I C K. Okay, and we're going to sing it nice and nice and clearly and we're going to say all the names at the end we're going to say happy kim and nick do you think you can do it and say happy kim and nick okay so ready say a friend's name great try and join in edmund after me saying names is so much fun saying names is so much fun Especially saying this one. Especially saying this one. Happy Kim and Nick. Happy Kim and Nick. Happy Kim and Nick. Yay. Did Teddy sing as well today? Oh, you better give Teddy a pat on the back then as well. <laughs> they did, did, they, did well. Did the Teddy sing sing well? Yeah, I oh, definitely needs a pat on the back and a, and a thumbs up then. Okay, so you could sing that song at home, couldn't you? And help you to remember all of the names. So you could um, look in your book at the names and have a go at singing that that little song. So we're nearly halfway through. We're going to come back to this a bit in a minute, and we're going to just have. Um, a quick story before our break, because I know how much you like these stories. Very good for our um, English, aren't they? So 
This is called the twins week. Can you say the days of the week? So Monday, oh, we're Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, well done Edmund, Saturday, and do you know the last one? Friday. Oh, Friday was yesterday. Saturday is today. So tomorrow Monday. is sun Sunday. Sunday. So they're quite hard to remember, aren't they? And we're going to be learning them soon. But they come up in this story, so you'll hear them again. Okay. So this is about the twins. So they were born at the same time, brother and sister. Is that too quiet? Is that a bit quiet? Can you hear it? Okay, At least so. We'll read it together because I think it's I think it's coming out a bit quietly on on here, so we can read it together, can't we? So I'll read it and then I'll get you to say a few words. So get ready. When I do this, I want you to say the words, okay? So it says. Kim and Ken are twins and they live at the zoo. Their father is the zookeeper. He has so many things to do. On which day? On, can you see the word? Monday. On Mondays, this is what they do every Monday. Well done. Did you say Monday, Annabelle? Oh, well done. On Mondays, they take a shower. The hippos join the fun. We've seen hippos, haven't we, when we're learning animals. Then watch TV with the fish. The week has just begun. So let's see the hippos and the fish. Oh, there we go. There's the fish. On which day? On what comes after Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Well done, Annabelle. That says on Tuesdays, so every Tuesday, they eat breakfast with the pandas. Here's the panda. And the Frogs. What colour is the frog? Green. Yeah. And eat dinner in the evening with chimps and cats and dogs. That sounds funny, doesn't it? Eating dinner with all of those animals. That's what happens when you live at the zoo. On which day? On... Can you say the day, Edmund? Wednesday! Oh, Wednesday. Well done, Annabelle. Can you say the day, Edmund? Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesdays, they clean their teeth. Uh, the crocodile helps them brush. Then at night, they ride their bikes. The rhino gives a push. So we've got the crocodile and the rhino in this one. Here we go. Crocodile and the rhino on what's the next day the next day is thursdays on thursdays they play football with parrots in the park then take a swim in the pool the one without the shark there's the parrot Oh. oh my goodness, there's the shark. 
Imagine this, living at a zoo with all these animals. On, next day. On Friday. On Fridays, well done Annabelle. Let's hear you joining in next time Edmund as well. On Fridays they do their homework, the octopus helps too. Then play some games with their friends and run around the zoo. Look at the octopus doing the homework. On what day is it, Edmund, you as well? Tuesday. Oh, not Tuesday. This is begins with an S. Saturday. On Saturday. Well done, Edmund. Saturday is today, isn't it? On Saturdays, they go shopping with the kangaroos. They come home on a big red bus and they have a little snooze. That means a little sleep. Okay. There they are with the kangaroo. Oh look, sleeping on the kangaroo. And on Sundays, oh sorry, I should have let you say it. They are very tired and sleep until it's lunch, goodness me. Then take a walk around the zoo and see the friendly bunch. Here they are looking at all the animals. Did you enjoy that story? Yeah. Yeah, did you like it, Edmund, as well? Did you like the story, yes or no? Yay. And Edmund, say it as well, but just Lord, let's hear you. So yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so you could say, or you could say, I liked it, let's say it. I like it. I liked it. So Edmund, did you like it? Let's hear your words. Can I hear your words, yeah. Edmund? English? Oh, you liked it, good. Okay, well, it's break time now. When you come back, it would be useful to have some colouring pencils or pens. Do you have some colours you can, you can get? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we will need those. And you can have, Annabelle, leave that, thank you. You can have five minutes as normal um, to go to the bathroom, get a drink, get your colours ready for afterwards, and I'll see you in five minutes, okay? Okay. Have a nice break. So you might say, see you later. Okay, see you later. See you later. Let's go. very good well done Edmund okay so we will carry on and um, we're going to have a little look we're going to need so Annabelle I like your teddy but let's leave it to one side okay or just have it next to you and not fiddling okay please so let's just see if we know Edmund has got nicely good listening if we know our body parts, okay? So, can you point to your hair? Point to your hair. Here's my hair. Can you do the same, Edmund? Don't worry about your book for now. Yay, well done. Point to your eyes. Great, point to your ears. Point to your shoulder, shoulders. Okay, well done. Point to your hand or show me your hands. Yay. Point to your leg. So I'm going to stand up. Here's my leg. <laughs> and can you touch your toes? You stand up, can you touch your toes? Yeah. And... Point to your 
Show me your fingers. Show me your fingers. Okay, point to your leg. And your nose. Yay. And your teeth. And your arm. Show me your arm. Let's see you, Edmund. Here's your arm. Okay. And your neck. Yay. Okay. So we're going to need all of those because we're going to have a little look at um, some colours and we're going to be colouring some of those body parts. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice little neck, neck stretch Teacher. there, Teacher. Annabelle. Teacher. Ed Edmund, are you okay? Teacher, a lot of pets. Pets. Okay. What are pets? Can you say it again, please, Edmund? What are black pets? Pets. Can you black can you pets. can you spell it, please? W h a t p e t w h a t p e no, then. Is it on the screen? Catch. P -E -E, catch. Like oh, hold on. Is it this one? Is it on the screen, Edmund? Can you spell it for me? Can you write it down and show me, Edmund? I'm not sure. You're a bit quiet. You need to hold up your mic like this because you're a bit quiet. Um, and maybe write it and I can have a look in a minute. Okay, write it down and I'll have a look because I'm not sure, sorry, which one you mean. Um, so, let's see then. We are going to be looking at colours, okay? So, on your book, you need to be on page four. That says red, blue, and yellow. Page, um, so the, the, the one that has the colours on there. Oh, let me have a look at that, um, Edmund. Hold on, Edmund. Let me have a look. Hold it up. W H A T or oh, page, page, yeah. So the page yeah. is like this. This in my book is a page. So the page number is twelve. Page twelve. Sorry, Edmund. I took a while to understand that, didn't I? Twelve. Page twelve. Have you got page twelve? Okay. Yay. Okay, let's re let's remember these colours then. So let's say them together. We've got what's this colour? So you can look Pink. at the screen now. Pink and red, yeah. red, red. and orange. orange. Yellow. 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 Blue. Green. Blue. Oh, hold on. Let's say. Uh, stop. 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 Let's say them after three. Ready? One, two, three. The next one. Blue. And one, two, three, next. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's hear you, Edmund. Oh, yeah, there we go. And you were saying them so well, Annabelle. Great pronunciation. Well done. So we're going to see um, how... So we're going to look at colour mixing today and we've learnt those colours already haven't we but we're going to look at what happens when we mix them up together so let me just get to that page as well so if we see let me change the screen doing very well today well done you see here, okay, we're going to look and see what colours these make. So 
blue and red together makes Do you know if you mix them up? Oh, purple. Well done, um, Edmund. And then we'll be looking at white and black, blue and yellow, yellow and red, red and white. But don't write blue yet. Red and black are grey. Blue oh, what? is green. Yeah. Very good. With you. Oh, you're very good with your colours. So don't write them in yet because we're going to have a little play around with that because I'm going to send you this link in a minute and you can go on here for five minutes in a moment and we're going to look at this website. You can get, you can have a turn on it in a minute. So watch carefully because you can have a try with the colours first. So let's let it load up. Okay. Are you okay, um, Edmund? Which page? No pages yet. You're going to do it on here. On um, I'm going to send you the link, the website, in a moment. Let's sh let's look at it first. So look at the screen, and we're going to choose the monster because we know our body parts. No, I don't monster. Okay. Yellow. So there we go, they've mixed red and blue and that made purple. So it will tell you what you have to do. Colour the monster's tummy purple. So you will make, how do we make purple? Red, red and blue. blue. There's our purple. And we can blue. paint his tummy. Great job. Then it will tell you another one. Okay, colour the monster blue. So we need just our blue. Take the red back in. Blue, red, plus yellow. Blue, just blue for this blue one. plus yellow. Okay, so I'll send you this link and you can you can do this on your screen. Okay. So first, Let me put it in the chat box. It's okay. You just say below it. Then. But I think, yeah, the sound voice on this one. Is okay. Follow this link later, we do exercise. Can yeah, you see a link in the chat box? Click. Click on the link. Yeah. And you can have five minutes to, to try with that. I like it. Yeah, you want to have, try to try. Okay, has it worked? Have you got it? Edmund, have you got a as well? Teacher. Is she No. Okay. Click on there. Is it working, Annabelle? Do you have yours spare? So can you find the chat box, Edmund? Yes, I've sent it to you in the chat box. And click on that link. Teacher. Yeah. I'm going. Edmund, can you put your mic? to your mouth so I can hear you. Huh? Can you move your microphone? I can't hear you. Oh. Not very well anyway. Try again. I, I go in. You can click it, yes. You do it, you do in. it. You can go into it, yeah. I go into the dinosaur. You're gonna draw the dinosaur. You're gonna paint the dinosaur. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm a 
So click on it, Edmund. Go yeah. in. You can go into it. Yes, I go in. You've got it. Have you got it? Yes, yes. Great. So five minutes. Have a go. You loading picture. Oh, okay. Creating colors. Pick a coloring book page to get started. Monster, monster. Oh, so I can hear you've got yours, Annabelle. That's good. Just say two monsters. Later, we'll take others, okay? So maybe red, start blue, with the monster and do the other ones later. When you yeah. mix primary colors, you can make purple, green, and orange. For example, mixing red and blue makes purple. I'm just going to mute you, Annabelle, okay? So that um, in case it's um, in case Edmund can hear it as well. Edmund, have yeah. you got it now? Great. Dorks, D -O -R -T -S. Dorks. D -O -R -T -S. Dorks. Dots. Edmund. Dots are like, like circles. They are the they are the small circles on the monster. These are dots here. Oh, okay. Like lots of circles. Huh? They're lots of little circles. Oh, that's not a dot. <laughs> dots, Edmund, dots. Okay, one minute left. How's it going? Is it going okay? Uh, again, Edmund, please. Teacher, I -E. R E D. I D E. D. D. D I D I T I D E. Oh, write it down for me. Good letters, but I'm struggling to, to think which word that is. My 
hope you finished it and about oh that's just as my timer went off just as my five minute timer went off well done do you still have it on your screen again do you know how to share your screen yes I want to play again. oh you did it um that says yeah Edmund that means you've finished it means you've yeah. done it yeah great so um Anna, maybe my Click. Click. Let's share screen. Then click share. Look forward to seeing your monster. Ah, hey. oh, well done. And after the lesson, you could play on the other. You could do the other two, couldn't you? When we finish the lesson, did you enjoy it, Annabelle? Enjoy it. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use your words. Yes. Okay. So maybe you could do the other ones later. Edmund, do you know how to share your screen? Huh? What? So pardon. Do you know how to share your screen? Please? Click share screen. So can you see a green button? Green button? That says share screen. Yes. Click on that. Okay. And then click your monster on the options and press the blue button, share. Um, the monster. I cannot see. Um, it should be on the screen where your monster is. This? Try it. Have you got it, Edmund? Okay, never mind. I will I will get something for next week with a picture to show you how to do it, okay? But we saw Annabelle's. Oh, where's Annabelle gone? She's disappeared. Are you there, Annabelle? Come, start, lady. Come. Come and sit back down, because now that you've practiced, we can write in our book. So come and sit down. Quick, no. five, four... Three, two, one. Come and show me where you are. Come on. Because Annabelle, I think you're going to be good at answering some of these questions. Are you okay, Edmund? Edmund, when I'm speaking. Okay, hold on, Edmund, stop. When I speak, you need to stop and listen, okay? So try and wait till I've finished. Okay. So don't play the game now. You can play it after if you would like to, okay? Because we're going to look in our book now. We're going to do A. Well done, Annabelle. I can see you now. So we're going to, now that we've had a little practice, we're going to write the words. So Annabelle, blue and... Can you hold up the colour that blue and red makes? Mm. Maybe yeah. Edmund, do you know? Purple. Put that down, Annabelle, I'm not sure purple. what that is. Purple. Oh, purple, Edmund. So how do you spell purple? P-U-R-P-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-P-U-R-
Annabelle, what does white and black make? White and black. Yeah. No, try again. Okay. It makes black a bit lighter. A bit lighter. Okay. Slightly. Do you know? Ray. Hmm. Yeah, Ray, you. yeah. Ray, yeah. Ray, you. you're right. Ah, okay, well done. So now put some grey in your paint palette. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to colour grey. I don't have grey on my one. But you would put it, oh, we need to put it in the, where the numbers are. Sorry, here, number two. So number one, I'm sorry, should have been there, shouldn't I? I didn't see those numbers. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, sorry, I missed that. They're tiny oh. little numbers. <laughs> number two, yeah, tiny. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, teacher. Okay, number two. Oh, thank you. Color the number. Put the oh, color. Do gray. Color gray. Number two. Then follow. Okay. Question one. Yes, that's right. Okay, yeah. Edmund. Do you know what blue and yellow makes? Green. Right. How do you spell green? G-R-E-E-N. G-R-E-E-N, you're right. Green. So we're going to write green. And then where it says number three, we're going to colour green. Your colouring will be much nicer than mine. Is it neater than mine? Good. <laughs> it's hard to do it on the screen. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yellow and red. Do you know what yellow and red makes, Annabelle? Or maybe have a guess? Green. So it doesn't, doesn't make green, it makes... It starts with an O. So Edmund, whose turn is it, Edmund? It's Annabelle's turn, Edmund. Say louder. You can't see the color louder. Say, I can't hear you. Say louder just now. Nice and loud, Annabelle. Come on, nice and confident. Annabelle, waiting for you. Annabelle, what colour is that? No. Annabelle. Annabelle. Annabelle, Stop and listen. Show me good listening, Annabelle. Remember, you were telling me you are lovely to the teacher, aren't you? So you need to listen. And what colour is it? R-I-N. 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 Yeah, and then it's G-E. So the word is? Say the word. Orange. Orange. Okay, we got there in the end. Annabelle, bit quick the next right. time. I had to wait for a long time. The next time, listen and say it, okay? Next time. So now we're going to colour number four orange. So nice colouring. Okay, ten seconds. Okay, five. Four, three, two, one. Edmund, it's your turn. So, Edmund, what colour does red and white make? 
I N K pink. You are right. Well, so number five is pink. P I N K. Now we have two colors with nothing in them. You can choose. So you can choose the last one. So you might want to do a different blue. That's a, a light blue. So I've got light blue and then dark blue. And you might then choose another color like, like maybe brown. We don't have brown. Yeah, I want yellow. So you choose now. Okay. And 20 seconds just to finish that off. We've got 20 seconds. Black. Okay. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop there and show me. Hold up your book, kind of outcome. I'm looking forward to seeing your lovely colouring. Well done. And check all your spellings. All very neat, Edmund. Well done. Very neat. Well done. You can give them a tick. Give them a tick. Okay. So, Annabelle, what colour are your eyes? What colour are your eyes? So, my eyes. Edmund, listen to the name because that was Annabelle's turn. So, Annabelle, what colour are your eyes? Um, Susie, what colour is your eyes? Mm -hmm. Annabelle, say it nice and loudly to me. So, Annabelle, my eyes, my eyes are brown. What colour are your eyes? And now say it for me. My eyes are. See, my eyes are. Oh, this. So I want to hear your English. I want to hear your lovely English. My eyes are. Black and white. Black and white. Oh, okay. And what colour are your eyes, Edmund? Black and white. As well, okay. What colour is your t-shirt, Annabelle? Yellow. So my so my t-shirt is yellow. My t-shirt is yellow. Super English that time, much faster. Edmund, what colour is your t-shirt? My t-shirt is white. Your t-shirt is white, isn't it? Well done. Um, Annabelle, what colour is your hair? Black. So my hair is black. Go. Say it again. My hair. My hair is black. Black. Say the sentence. My hair is black. Annabelle, let's hear your lovely English. Yes. Are you listening? Right. My hair is black. Yeah. We got there. It's lovely hair as well, isn't it? Admin, what colour is your hair? My, black. My hair is black. Your hair is black as well. My hair is brown. Um, and what is your favourite colour, Annabelle? My favourite colour is blue. It's and blue? Orange. Oh. oh, and orange. Ah, oh, okay. And what colour is your favourite? What's your favourite colour, Edmund? 
My favorite color is blue. So you both have the same favorite color. My favorite color is pink or blue as well. Yes. So now you can tell me, you can write that in your book a bit more about yourself. So you can color again now. Have you got your colors ready, Annabelle? Sit down nicely, ready to color, because you've got such lovely, neat coloring. So sit down, good listening. Show me good listening. Blue. I want blue eyes. And you're going to colour. You ready, Annabelle? Sit down. Show me good listening. Remember, you're nice to the teacher. Okay. You're going to colour the answers to the questions. So it says, what colour are your eyes? And you've already said black. So you can draw it for you. And then you can think of your friends. So you could do each other. You could, Annabelle, you could do Edmund and Edmund, you do Annabelle here. Or you could choose one of your other friends and you're going to draw what, what you're going to color what um, color their eyes are. And then it says, what color is your t-shirt? What color is your bedroom? So the walls, so my bedroom, well, I'm not in the bedroom, but my bedroom is white, has white walls. What color is your hair? What color is your favorite color? So we're going to now show those answers that you just said by coloring it in. Mm. Oh, I okay, do you know what to do? Okay. What color is your t-shirt? Oh, you need a color. Yes. Oh, nice color. Right, hang on. Yellow. Yes. I got a lot. Next question. What is this? She she likes your color teacher, so she says she wants to have the brown brown color hair like yours. And uh. she that's why just now she answered what she could be. And and so what, sorry? Uh, she wished to become like have blue eyes and brown eye, brown hair like you. Uh, <laughs> like but, yours. Oh well thank you. I'm glad you like like it. But do you know I like your hair colour as well. We often like other people's, don't we, better than our own, but yours is very nice. Looks very nice. But thank you. Have you finished, Edmund? Edmund? Edmund, have you finished? Can you hold it up for me then, please? Okay. Oh, does your friend have the same as you for everything? Does your friend have the same things? The second one is for your friend. So does your friend also have a blue bedroom? Yeah, hold it up again, Edmund. Hold it up one more time. 
Hvad bare jeg fyldt med? Blue. Yeah, hold on. Oh, back a bit. Back a bit. Oh, yes. He's got a blue bedroom and you've got a green bedroom. Okay. How are you doing, Annabelle? Have you nearly finished? I can check the other two. Not yet, Edmund. Okay. Just wait a minute. We'll just we'll move on in a minute. Have you got have you finished, um, Annabelle? Not yet. Okay. Let's see. Let's see it so far. Can you hold up what you've done so far? So I can see how much you've done. So Annabelle, can you hold it up, please? <laughs> Okay, so you're doing your friend. Brilliant. So I'm going to give you 20 seconds to finish that, okay? Because then we're going to do the next thing. So 20 seconds, try and finish it off. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. No, it's not. It's all right. Okay, another next. Okay, and ten seconds left now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good counting there as well, Edmund. Okay, maybe you could um, just finish that later. Um, Annabelle, or just listen for these instructions and then finish it in a moment, okay? So good listening, Annabelle, please. Because we have one more thing we're going to do in our book and then we're going to play a game. So show me good listening, Annabelle. Remember, we sit up, we look at the screen, we smile. <laughs> Are you ready? Five? Four. Good boy, Edmund. I can see you're ready. Well done. Are you, re are you ready as well, Annabelle, like Edmund? Can you see he's sitting ready to listen? So, good boy, Edmund. Now you, Annabelle. You have one more thing to do in your book. You've done some good work in your book today. So... Annabelle, I'm still waiting for you to listen. Remember to be nice to your teacher. You said you were nice to your teacher. That means good listening, doesn't it? It's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we got there in the end. Thank you. So your last thing to do before we play a game is look at these pictures. So it says, number one, this is a boat or a goat? Is it a boat no. or is it a goat? <laughs> is it a boat? Yeah. Yes, no? Goat. Husband. It's a goat. It's a goat, so you're going to circle goat. Okay, now do the other three. You finish them now? Can you finish them now? It shouldn't take long. It should only take about one minute now. Try and do them in one minute. Okay, set my timer. I was. What? Oh, have you finished already? Let me have a look. Okay, well done. So we've got a. Oh, where are we? A cat, a kite, and a woman. Well done. And just gonna have a look at um, Edmunds now. A goat, a cat, a kite, and a woman. Well done. Okay, that was nice and quick. So you've done some really good work in your book, haven't you? Well done. And when you're um, before next week, you could have a little look back at the things that we... Well, nice listening, please, Annabelle. You could have a little look back at the things we did together when you didn't have your book. And you can have a go... Uh, before next week because we won't go back really to them now we're going to keep going forwards so you can go back to the ones we did in the first lessons 
and try and fill them in as best as you can. And then I'm going to have a little look next week, okay? So it's a good chance to practice at home. So you're going to see how much you can remember from the last lessons. Does that sound like a good idea? Do you think you can do that, Annabelle? Okay. So that's going to be um, spend a little bit of time before next lesson, just seeing how much you can go back and remember. They're quite fun, some of them. You get to join up the numbers here and colour it in. So there's lots of nice colouring and lots of um, names to remember. Okay. So see how well you do. And then to finish off now, we're just going to play a nice game. So it looks like we've lost Edmund. I wonder where Edmund has gone. Um, oh dear. Maybe he'll yeah. come back in in a moment. Yes! Yes! Super funny, please. I'm going to play again. This time you do it. In okay, so let's see. Where's that gone? So we're going to play a game, um, Annabelle, where you have to look at the picture that's on the screen. It's coming on the screen now. Yeah. And I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to say some sentences. Hopefully Edmund will be back in a minute as well. And if the answer is yes, you're, we're going to stand up. If the answer is no, we're going to sit down. Okay. Now we were going to see um, what Edmund was doing as well and, and compete, but we'll just play it together. So are you ready? If the answer is, if the answer is yes, what are you going to do, Annabelle? Yes is stand up. No is. Sit down. No is sit down. No is sit down. So ready? There are are five trees. There are five trees. What do you think? Are we going to stand up or are we going to sit down? Sit down. Oh, let's count them. I think there might be five trees there. One tree has. Well, it depends if we count the one that's fallen down. Got one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna stand up, quick stand up. Who's first? Yay, okay. And this one that's on the ground, we would call that a log because it's no longer growing, it's a log. Okay, so um, there are. Um, there are 10 birds. Which, which one's it going to be? Oh, here's Edmund. Is that 10 birds? If no, then sit down. If yes, then stand quickly. Okay, so is it yes or no? Are there 10 birds? Oh, Edmund, are you back? Yes. Yeah, we're going to play against Edmund in a minute. Oh, hello, Edmund. Nice to see you back again. Uh, so if no, the answer, if the answer is no, then sit down. If the answer is yes, then stand up. Show your answer by standing up. Okay. So, so the answer is no. Ten birds. Okay, so Edmund, I'm going to so say yes or no. If the answer is yes, we're going to stand up. If the is the answer, answer yes or no? No. no. So if no, what you need to do? Okay. I'm going to see who gets there first. Ready to listen? Um, there is a bird on the tree. There is a bird in the tree. So is it yes or is it no? Um, no. Okay. Then. Okay. There's a bird in the tree. Oh, I'm going to stand up because I think there might be. That it's in its nest and the nest is in the tree. There it is. So stand up. Okay. And the next one is. Well done, Annabelle. There are there are eight flowers. There are eight flowers. What are we going to do? 
So, yes, we stand up. No, we sit down. Are you going to stand up or sit down? Which one have we got to do, Edmund? Yeah, so he's staying firmly sat down. You're right. There are how many flowers are there? Yeah, I don't know. Three. Three. So the answer was no. That one was wrong, wasn't it? Okay. There is a frog in the pond. There is a frog in the pond. One. Yeah. Water. One. Pond water. One. One. There is one. So quick, we've got to stand up. It's yes. Okay, stand up, Edmund. The answer was yes, there is a frog in the pond. And um, now, let's see if you can get the right answer to the next one. There is, um, there are two clouds in the sky. There are two clouds in the sky, white clouds. Yes! Yeah, there are, aren't there? Two white clouds in the sky. So, Edmund, I should see you standing up. Are you stood up? There we go. And um, the grass, the grass is pink. The grass is pink. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> now, do you want to say one? And we'll stand up or sit down. Annabelle, can you think of one to say? Grass is pink. Yeah, you try another one. You say one, it's what you, you ask for. Yeah, I saw the grass. Mm. Mm. And maybe you could say how many birds there are? Mm. One. You could make it up. Just have a try. So, Edmund, what about you? Have you thought? Have you got one we could say while Annabelle's thinking? Oh, okay. Have a think. Have a think. It's hard, isn't it, coming up with one? Let's try another one, then, ready? So, the sky. The sky is green. The sky is green. The sky up in, above us is green. Yes or no? The sky is blue. The sky is blue, Edmund. You're right. So we've got to sit down, haven't we? Okay. And have you thought of one, Annabelle, that you'd like to do? Well, Edmund, have you thought of one that you'd like to do? You got an idea? So you could say the trees are and then say a colour. Two colours. Let's try that one. The trees are. Ah, okay, so the so Edmund say the whole sentence. The trees are green and brown. The trees are green and brown. Do we stand up or do we sit down? Is it yes or no? Quick, who's gonna get there first? We've got to stand up. They are green and brown, aren't they? There we go. And then Annabelle, did you have one or should we stop there? Have you thought of one? The sun is black. The sun is black. No, it's definitely not, is it? So we're going to sit down. Did you say the sun? The cloud is black. Oh, the cloud is black. Oh, I'm still sitting down. Definitely going to stay sat down on that one. Okay, because it's definitely not, is it? The clouds are, what colour are the clouds? What colour are they? White. 
Right, yeah. So we're going to stop there. And um, great English today. Well done. You can give yourself, you can do a little victory dance. Woohoo! There we go. Do a little victory dance because you've uh, done some great English. Oh, well done. Very good. There we go. Can't see yours, Edmund. Maybe you're going to save yours for after. And oh, where's that about gone? Oh, she's still dancing. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to have to go now, but big well done. So stop for a second, Annabelle. <laughs> you can carry on your dance after the session. Okay. Oh my goodness, you can't stop now. Stop, stop. Did you say stop? Listen. Listen. Stop. Thank you, Annabelle. Well, thank you to Edmund, because you've got very good listening there, Edmund. Well done. Oh, that's better now, Annabelle. Well done. So I will see you next Saturday, okay? Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, and you can click off the here now. Well done.